Hey everybody, welcome to my first ever video. This is Ishan from a and &E Auto Detail located in the Sacramento, California area. Um, on my first video today, I'm just going to be showing you guys a tour of my detailing setup. Um, let's get right into it. If you guys are interested in booking with me, I'm in Sacramento. I serve Placer, Yolo, and Sacramento County. And you guys can just give me a call at 916-507-4597. Call at Thank you guys. So to get it started off, um, the vehicle I use for my detailing setup is a 2021 F-150 Power Boost. Um, got it about a year ago, and this is where I have most of my detailing stuff. Um, this is what I detail out of full time, and this is my setup back here. Um, it's got four doors, so it's got quite a bit of room on the inside, and as you guys can see, I do also have a lot of products on the inside too, but I feel like most of it is in, in the bed of the truck. Uh, I've got all my my uh, power equipment and all that stuff back there. So let me give you guys a tour of all this stuff I have back here. So starting off in the very back, I've got a 35 gallon water tank that I bought at my local um, tractor supply. Got it for about $200, which is more than usual. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of those things on offer up and stuff like that. So you really don't have to go that route. You can get these for pretty cheap um, secondhand use. And I know a lot of people are selling them as they upgrade. But so that is my tank. Um, it has been modified from the top just so I can close the tonneau cover. But I've just mostly cut um, cut along the rim and, and got it a little bit lower just so I could close the tonneau cover on it. Got a few ratchet straps around it to keep it in place and then I've also got this big piece of wood that also kind of just keeps it in its place. Um, next to that I have got my um, three buckets, two for washing the exterior and then I've got one for wheels, rims, tires, all that stuff. That's got all my wheel brushes, my wheel woolies, um, all of that stuff. I usually just fill that up with a, uh, a tire and wheel cleaner and then spray some on the wheel and uh, take care of the wheels like that. Um, two buckets over here from Chemical Guys. They've got the grit guards and everything in them. Um, dirt traps, whatever they're called, at the very bottom. And then I've got my vacuum hose. Um, and this is my pressure washer over here. This is a Husqvarna pressure washer. Um, not the best pressure washer you can buy, but I mean, it's, it's about 200 bucks and it probably is the best bang for your buck. Um, and it's the choice I went with because it's the one that I like the most. And going to the pressure washer from the um, the water tank is a water pump, and this is a um, Seaflow automatic demand pump. Um, it just plugs into your regular 120 outlet. Um, it's got the the, the um, cord over here. You just plug that into your regular old outlet. It's got a hose going to the pressure washer and a hose coming in from the. Um, water tank as you guys can see i've got my little hose bib over here um just turn that on and the water starts going to the tank uh to the pump this pump works pretty good um it is automatic demand it does leak a lot and i've tried fixing it but honestly there's not much you can do with a cheap little pump like this it's about 100 bucks so just kind of have to deal with it but it's whatever not not too worried about it um i just tighten it up from over here usually whenever it starts leaking a lot but it's not the biggest deal in the world so going from the pressure washer, I have a um, a lead hose, or I guess you could call it a reel hose. Um, it's going from here to my pressure washer reel, um, and it goes uh, down here. This is this is where it goes. It goes from here to the pressure washer, and the pressure washer supplies the water into the hose reel. And I've got a 50 foot hose on here. Um, this is like an uber flex but it is kind of like a knockoff uber flex it's not the best hose in the world but it is 50 feet and it, it doesn't kink too much and on on that i've got a max shine pressure washer gun little snubby type um and my preference these are easier because you can get closer to the paint you don't have to stand back so much and um it, you can you have more control over it and everything and on here i also have a little um swivel just so i can easily swivel around the hose i'm not tugging it all over the place i've got the reel mounted onto my truck um it already came with some mounting holes over here because it has uh those little plates mounted so you can mount whatever you'd like to it and it comes with accessories and stuff like that but obviously i didn't need that so i just removed it put some metal brackets on this wood wooden piece over here and, and kind of bolted down the wooden piece onto the holes that it already has drilled in there um it holds up pretty well but i will have to figure out something better in the future it is a little bit wobbly 
and I, I'm sometimes worried that it'll, it'll break on me and then I have to deal with that and, and do all of that. Um, on the other side, I do need to get a, uh, a hose reel for my air compressor, just working on that, just need to get that mounted too. I've already got two of them, just need to see which one works best and, and get that mounted as well. Down here underneath the pressure washer, or not underneath, but, but by the pressure washer, I have this little um, outlet box. This just connects into my truck and I've got most of my stuff just plugged into here. And um, this has my pressure washer, um, air compressor, and my water pump plugged into it. Super easy. My truck does have a built-in generator, so I just take the cable, plug it in, and it's it's good to go. It's ready. Um, I've got four outlets over here, so I can plug in quite a bit of stuff. And then with this, it's four more, so I can just easily plug this in and, and have plenty of outlets for whatever I need them for. All right, so on the right side over here, I have a rigid portable shop vac um this does about i think five horsepower it's not the strongest in the world i did want to get a six horsepower one but it probably is the best um for mobility and stuff it easily fits in here it's got wheels it's got a long enough extension cable it's got a good hose so um i feel like it'll probably last me pretty long it's a, it's a good shop vac it's not the most powerful but i know it, it, it works very good and it'll last me quite a while Next to that, I have my air compressor. This is just a super, super cheap air compressor. I mean, I got this thing for about $70. I don't recommend it if you're detailing it. I recommend you just wait and buy a better one. Use something like a blower in the meantime. Um, but it, it, is, it works, but not the best in the world. Um, it's only got one outlet hose, and that's what I would connect my hose reel to. Uh, my air hose reel. But unfortunately, I don't have that right now. So, But I do set that up. I'll... Uh, I'll connect that to the air compressor and I do definitely plan on upgrading to like a rigid or something a lot bigger that can also run a tornador and, and big tools like that to help you know do whatever it needs to do so that's all the stuff that I have back there I've got my buckets water pump pressure washer vacuum air compressor and my water tank and then I've also got my little brush over here just for whatever um, I think the only thing I've ever used that for is like an engine bay or something like that, but I just clean it up, put it there just in case I ever need it. It's pretty long and it, it works for stuff like engine bays and wheel wells and stuff like that. So it's, it's a pretty neat little nifty brush. All right, so near the outside, I have um, two traffic cones over here and usually I have my uh, extension cable wrapped around this, um, around the this part of the, um, cones and it kind of just lays around over here um super easy i could just easily plug it in and take it out whenever i need to when i am detailing over here i've got my mcculloch steamer um it's a pretty good steamer uh i have had some problems with it but i think it was just user error i filled it up with too much water or something like that but i do definitely recommend this steamer if you are starting off detailing it it really does help and it's about 200 bucks so it's not like super super expensive it's pretty affordable i've got a bunch of attachments that just go on the top over here and they help clean up uh all types of sticky messes and stuff that just doesn't want to come off with like a scrub ninja or something like that um overall it is a great steamer um it's got wheels and everything on it and it's got a little handle that extends in and out it's got the cable wrapped around it so pretty neat nifty and it uh it gets the job done and it's a small form factor too so it fits in here pretty well over on the right side here i have got most of my exterior chemicals and just some random stuff um some brushes i've got my blower over here um so i could do that before vacuuming get all the stuff off the seat and stuff like that um, then I've just got my chemicals over here, so mostly it's just exterior stuff. I've got bug and tar removal. Um, this one is empty, not sure what goes in here, but I, I don't really label my bottles. I just know what they are. Um, I can either smell them and, and whatnot. Some of them are labeled like this one. This is a bead maker, but that's just because it's a PNS bottle. On the out side i have got a leather brush um, from chemical guys it's horse hair and synthetic fibers and then i've got a lot of my ceramic stuff on out here i've got some hydro shield um this is a air freshener but on the other side i've got some leather ceramic some glass ceramic um i mean it's not like proper promi proper proper ceramic coatings but it is something just to to add on for a low price and just to help keep the car cleaner for a little bit longer for my clients. Um, and here I also usually put some towels and some um, um, applicator pads. These blue ones are for the exterior, but I've just kind of got them in here for for uh, um, for an exterior job I did recently. I just put them in here so it would be easier. But I do usually put the yellow ones for the interior over here. 
So over here, I've got two pump sprayers. I've got one from Devault and um, one from HDX. It's kind of falling over, but um, just a simple $10 um, pump sprayer. This one has got um, ProChem. It's um, carpet cleaner. So it's from ProChem. Uh, I don't remember the name exactly, but that stuff works really good. I've got a defoamer for my extractor over here just so I don't ever end up ruining it. And then I've got chemical guys. Um lightning fast in this one uh both of these chemicals work pretty good but i think i'm gonna when, once i run out of uh lightning fast i'm probably just gonna use pro chem because it is a, a a quality product it works really good you do have to use a neutralizer with that but i'm not really too worried about that i don't mind using a neutralizer um it just it, it does a better job it's easier to use it doesn't foam up so much so it's great for my uh my extractor so that's just what i love using um and so over here i've got the uh the hose for my mighty so i don't keep the mighty in my truck um all the time it's a 1300 dollars machine i don't really want to get it stolen so i usually just keep the hose for the mighty in here and um i, I put the mighty right over here actually um i've got quite a bit of space over here it's a little bit difficult to to lift it up and put it in here but i mean that's just what i gotta do i have no option so i've got the hose over here and i've got the uh the attachment for it over here as well and um i mean i love using this machine i highly recommend it if you don't have one uh, it is a little bit expensive but once you do save up it's i highly recommend getting a mighty this is the mighty i have right over here um it is uh one of the smaller ones but it is heated so so that's pretty good um i did want the bigger one um but first of all that one was about 1800 dollars, and it was just too big to fit in my truck I, I couldn't do it um so i unfortunately had to go with this one this one is about 1300 dollars, but it still does a great job it's way better than the Bissell i had before so even this is highly recommended from me once you get the money you should definitely upgrade to a mighty um i mean it's got it's got a great vacuum on it um it's got all the switches over here it's got a great vacuum it's got a heater and a, and a water pump so i mean this thing works fantastic i've had some problems with it but i just think it's uh the one that i got that was a little problematic i don't think most of my d's do have problems um for at least quite a while so i mean this thing works great if you're in the sacramento area i did get this from proline carpet maintenance so i do recommend checking them out um pretty nice people super helpful and when i did have the problems they fixed it right away they they put away everything else it was um i bought it and then the next day i went back to get it fixed because it wasn't working so i mean they put everything else away and, and started working on my machine as soon as possible so they're great people um and i definitely would buy from them again in the front i don't really carry much for detailing but i've just got some um random stuff i've got wipes over here just to keep my truck clean i mean you know obviously i should be using my detailing supplies but sometimes i i eat in here a lot so i'll spill stuff all over the place and i just i use the wipes to clean that up um, and i've got a little cooler down here because when it gets hot you definitely need a lot of water i do have a hydro flask that i do have water inside of um but it's only 40 ounces it, it doesn't last me too long so just got this filled up with water bottles and sodas and ice or whatever i need um and sometimes i do i have another outlet over here sometimes if i need to like charge my um my inspection light and stuff like that i can plug it in to there so that's pretty nice um so yeah not really much in the front for detailing but i've just got all my stuff over here um and i love driving this thing so while i'm here i might as well just show you guys um the generator that i have in here um i can just simply turn it on from over here turn on generator mode and it'll keep the truck on for however long i need it to be on and as you guys can see i can do 3600 over here and 3600 over there which equals to about seven or not about exactly 7.2 kilowatts and um i can i can plug in a lot of stuff back there when i do plug in my mighty um that does use quite a bit but even then it's nowhere near the limit i can plug in a bunch more stuff and it has no problem running all of my stuff um this is like i said really great i'm glad i don't have to tug around a big generator and fill it up with gas and have all that noise when it's running um as you guys can hear um it's got generator mode on um the truck is running it's ready to go and i mean it's it's dead quiet you can't hear a single thing um i can plug in whatever i need to vacuum extractor all of that and then it'll simultaneously turn on whenever it needs to just to charge the battery but i mean it barely makes any noise so i mean that's that's great that's fantastic 
Alrighty guys, so I mean that just about wraps it up. Um, it was my first YouTube video, so I know it's a little bit rough. Uh, and I, I mean, it's just kind of have to start somewhere, right? So I, I hope you guys bear with me on that. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them out in the comments. I don't even know if anybody's gonna be watching this, but leave it down in the comments. I'll uh, try my best to link all the products I use in the description. Um, I'll, I'll link the the water pump, pressure washer, all of that stuff. I'll try my best to do all that. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them out in the comments below. Um, this is hopefully the first of many YouTube videos. I hope I can show you guys my journey and, um, you know, have a big following and, and have a lot of people that I can share my experiences with and my detailing um, exper experience and, and what I do every day for a living with you guys. So uh, first video, hopefully there's more to come. Um, I hope you guys like, subscribe, and, and share and all that. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching if you came here all the way to the end. And um, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.